Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is your boy Tavius, and back with another video today on Sparking Zero. And I got another set of tips for you guys to help out the beginners that are learning the game. I also had another video before, which was five tips to help beginners in the game. Go check that out. Let's get right into it. So, the first tip that I actually want to tell you guys it's a mechanic that's been pretty common and pretty prevalent. You have to charge your key. Let me dump all my key. Now, you can see this is usually fast, right? You charge your key you're at max right when you're in water you actually charge key a lot slower And as you can see, it takes a lot longer to charge your key when you're underwater in this game. So keep that in mind whenever you're playing the game. Try to avoid being underwater as much as possible. I recommend stages that don't even have water to begin with. Cell Games Arena, Land of the Kais, the Time Chamber. Those are all pretty good stages. Definitely pick those. Yeah, you can go in the water to avoid your opponent. If they're locked off, you can go in the water, catch a breather. But you generally don't want to be underwater in this game because you're just going to nerf your key charging time it's gonna take forever tip number two have you ever noticed that someone knocks you back they knock you into a combo and then they throw a super if you try to recover you hold your recovery button and your character just happens to recover but you can never seem to block it in time because you always end up getting hit there's a solution to that you can actually vanish pretty much everything in this game you vanish by pressing your guard button right as you're about to get hit as you can see there, you can vanish a lot of things in this game. Try to get your vanish timing down because that's going to be very important. Alrighty, so tip number three. It's pretty self-explanatory. You want to avoid mashing. We got to get to the point where we have to stop just mashing square. These little combos, yes, they get damaged, but they can be vanished and people can contest you. In this game, every character has specific combo routes. You have your light attacks, right, which is your square or X, then your heavy follow-ups, which is your triangle or your Y, depending on what you're on, right? Right. Every character has a different amount of lights that they have to do to get certain follow-ups. Vegeta, one light and triangle is this overhead kick, but say for someone like Broly, it's a stomach punch. And then two hits for Vegeta is the stomach punch. Every character has one light into triangle or into heavy, two lights into heavy, three lights into heavy, and four lights into heavy. Every character has that. Learn these follow-ups because there's so many things that you're missing out on damage by not learning your follow-ups. So like say Blue Vegeta, right? Right? And then also something I want to say that if you use the same heavy attack in a combo, it's going to drop, right? So if say two gut hits, you see that how he just popped? and flew back if you hit the same smash attack in a combo it's gonna drop so you want to mix these up there's two and then right there i did three here's one then i do two right one two three knock them back you know something like that right then you have your follow-up say you grab somebody instead of just doing this and going into this where someone could counter vanish you yes you can get damage and then potentially get something like this, right? But it's not guaranteed if your opponent has meter. So let me give you a little tip. If you manage to land a grab, you can charge your key slightly and then burst dash behind them. And now you're at their back, giving them the devious back shots that we all love in this game. That's a way you can extend your combos, right? You can do this, you charge. Because look, if you, if you do it immediately, okay, I need, let me get a little bit more meter. You need a little bit more meter to do it because every time you do this burst dash, it takes a little bit of your meter. If you do it immediately like this, they're just going to fly past you, right? You want to charge your key just enough until you see it pop. And then you see, then you can continue your combo, do whatever you need to do. One easy way to get a follow up and they can't really do much about it. So learn your character's routes so you can get more damage. Don't just rely on spamming light attacks because people can just vanish out of these and then you end up getting into the 10 year long vanish war with each other. All right, so tip number four is actually something to do with controller controls. This is specifically for the people who use classic controls. So have you ever been playing a game you're on the classic controls because you're used to the old ways love tenkaichi 3 and you try to tag your character out because in order to do it you have to press down both of the sticks and the panel doesn't pop up and it prioritizes the taunt button even though you're pressing down both of the sticks right so something that you can actually do to circumvent that is when you're in your classic settings you have the control styles at the classic but you want to change your directional button controls from classic 
to stand it. This will eliminate that completely because instead of having to use the analog sticks, it'll just let you use the D-pad because the D-pad, it doesn't do anything for you anyways. All the D-pad does is gives you extra buttons to move around with how you would normally move around with the stick. If you were to switch it, you can still keep your standard controls, your circle to guard, your triangle and circle to percept, but it makes it easier for you to tag out and transform. As you can see, I'm using the D-pad and for some reason it's weird because it says use the right stick to select these for some weird reason, but you actually use the face buttons. Broly's on the left and Cooler's on the top. On the left, I would use square or X to pick him or I'd pick triangle or Y to pick Cooler. For some reason, it displays it as a stick movement, but it's not a stick movement for some reason. I don't know why it's like that. Look how easy it is to tag out now so easy because i had issues where i would go online and i'd press down both of the sticks and instead of giving me this option to tag out in dp battles it would just prioritize the taunt button that's something that bandai has to fix and it's a bug that I don't understand why it's in the game. It just makes no sense. Now, the last little piece of tech for the video, you guys are leaving damage on the table when it comes to your vanishes. You do your combo, right? And then you knock them twice. And then you hit this to do the ender, right? You know, certain characters have more vanishes than others. This Vegeta, I believe he gets three of them. One, two, three. And then I can go down. One, two, three. Yeah, as you see, Cooler only gets two. See how many of these your character can do because you're going to be leaving damage on the table if you don't do them. Yes, people can vanish your vanish attacks right there, but if they don't, they're taking more damage. Because if you just assume everybody can only do two, you're missing damage, right? Cooler can only do two. Let's see the difference, right? One, two, and then you end the combo, right? That is 85-90 on the left side, right? But if you were to, to do his third one that he can do... Look how much more damage you just got. 99.79. You would have left all that damage on the table. I believe when you're in sparking, you get more. Let's see. Let's test that theory. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, you get five when you're in sparking, at least for Vegeta. I want to say that five is the max, I believe. I have not seen any higher than five. Learn how many your character can do so you don't end up leaving any damage on the table. That's very useful information to have. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for the video. Go ahead and check out my last five tips video. A little bit more tips to help you guys if you guys are learning the game and you want to get a little bit of knowledge. But I hope this helped you guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you guys have anything that you want to know, yeah, I'm down for that. Let me know down in the comment. More guides to come and some ranked match videos check your boy out it's been tavius i'll see you guys in the next video peace